Hello everyone, it's Misha Grimes here. So this is a video all about the makeup pieces that I just couldn't survive without. A makeup must-haves video. I mean, I could survive without makeup, but you know what I mean. The best of the best. Today's hairstyle is for one of those days where you just really can't be asked to wash your hair so you turn to the dry shampoo and that's why I went for these cute little space buns and I just basically wrapped my hair in a little circle around my head twice. I've got them all here ready for me in this classy little makeup bag. Just to say these are not going to be in any correct order, I'm just going to randomly pull them out. Let's start the lucky dip. The Hourglass Bronzer. This bronzer is the best bronzer of life. I can promise you that. If you're using a different bronzer right now, honestly, drop it. Someone that comes around my house and was shoving it in their face like, use the Hourglass Bronzer. It has truly changed my bronzing life. Don't think that's a thing, but it's fine. This is my Makeup Geek Z palette. I'm sure you all know that you buy the Z palette and then you put in your Makeup Geek eyeshadows and just have a hell of a good time. I did get them when I was out in America, so I think each eyeshadow worked out at about £3. So that's kind of why I have such an excessive amount of eyeshadows. Because no girl needs this many eyeshadows. It is my perfect go-to palette when I don't really know what I want to do. I just dip my brush in a random colour and I just go with it. Whatever happens, happens. Favourites are what I have in my eyes today. Beaches and Cream, just to set my lid. Then Morocco. i just swatch. I'll go for this golden one. So yeah, they're beautiful. And then if I just swatch Morocco. And now I have two dirty fingers and I need to get a makeup wipe. Ooh, ooh come back into my bag of goodies. The Laura Mercier powder. This powder is the best under eye setting powder. I know some people don't like the whole pori cappy thing. I don't really mind all the faff. And whenever it smokes, I kind of feel like a little witch or something with my little cauldron of powder. My favorite foundation, Heart Rainforest of the Sea liquid foundation. And this is sold in the US. I will try and hunt it down to see if I can find it in the UK because I mean, I need some more of this, so I need it to be in the UK, or I'm just going to have to fly to America just for the sake of this foundation. It would be a bit extreme with the little squeezy bottle. Not the most practical application method, I'm not going to lie. It's a bit strange to drop foundation on your face. More of a light coverage foundation so you don't get cake face. Next up, I will go to a utensil. Yes. I think I can call a beauty blender a utensil. This has changed my makeup game completely. Just your concealer won't blend and your foundation's going all patchy. This just saves the day. It's magic. I know that sounds really weird that I'm complimenting the sponge so highly. Yes, it is a £15 piece of spongy plasticiness and that is ridiculously overpriced. Excuse the mess of it, but who actually cleans their beauty blenders that often? Not me. As you can see, I'm missing the eyelashes, but that's because they're actually on my face. My go-to eyelash would have to be the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're just perfect. They suit every eye shape, they go with every eye look, they're not too OTT. You don't want to think you're a drag queen. Reasonably cheap, they're obviously a high street product, and yeah. Go Demi Wispies. Sticking with the eyelashes category, these are major staple items in getting the perfect fake eyelashes application. MAC Duo Glue and then this is a little eyelash sticker on a pluckery, tweezery thing. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna stab myself in the face. <laughs> Secure to your lash band and then this little bit is really good for getting the inner corner because we all have those nights like we've got our eyelash halfway down our face, not the best look. Some people say this really smells. Oh, it actually does if you properly sniff it. Completely out of order and I'll go to my base. I use two primers and this is the Too Faced Hangover Primer and the Makeup Forever Smoothing Base Primer. And these are my ultimate favourites because this just makes the skin look so smooth and this hydrates my dry face. So I would not use this all over or my face would probably feel like it's been vacuumed. 
but the mixture of the both gives me the perfect smooth yet nourished and glowy skin. I'll go to blusher and this is a very well loved Milani Baked Luminoso blush. You can see how much I've used it and even that is completely broken so a bit annoying bad packaging but when it's only about six pounds something like that you can't really complain it also comes with a nice little mirror not sure that's ever going to come of use and it probably had a brush that i've no doubt lost i'm not massively inspired by any lip products at the moment i just feel there's nothing that's perfect in the meantime i've just been playing around with what i have and just trying to well, fall back in love with something. At the moment, I've been enjoying using MAC Velvet Teddy. So this is your basic Kylie Jenner shade. Yes, I know. I mean, it's a nice colour. So I just sort of pat it into my lips rather than do like a big old swipe because otherwise I just think it makes my lips look really crusty and gross. No one wants crusty lips. We have the best ever concealer that has ever been created. And this is the... <laughs> Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer with goji berries and... I'm not going to try and pronounce what that even said. It's about £6 and it's better than high-end concealers and it's cheaper. It's hunky-dory, you've got great under eyes. Sleep as little as you want and no one would even realise. Come on to brows and this is basically the only product I will use on my brows on a daily basis because I cannot be bothered to start carving out a brow. My brows don't need to be on fleek every day. They can just be a bushy mess. I'm okay with that. I like the bushy style. NYX. Mascara Colory Pour Sorcal... Oh, I was reading the foreign one, that's why. Don't know what language that is. Maybe French? It's a tinted brow mascara. Don't know why I didn't sell it to begin with. Got your normal little mini mascara wand and you just brush it on through and you have incredible eyebrows in about three seconds. Back to the eyes, I have a mascara and I just feel like it lengthens and volumizes my lashes but not to the point where I look like I have spider lashes because I'm not about that life. I bought this one and I loved it and I used loads of it and then I just kind of left it for a bit and I've come back to it. Now, yes, it's probably out of date. Do I care? No. Now that I say that, I'm gonna end up getting some eye thing, but hopefully I'll be fine. Finally, we have the best makeup product ever created, and that is highlighter. Yes, I am a highlighter junkie. I understand not everyone may want to wear this much glow, but I just think that highlighter is the best invention. Trying to pick my ultimate favourite highlighter was a struggle, but if I was deserted on a highlighter island and there was only one highlighter that I could ever use, it would have to be the Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Pop. This just makes you look like you are glowing from the gods. Probably not far from hitting pan, so that will be an emotional day. This has been my ultimate beauty favourite and I hope this has been helpful in some way and you've enjoyed seeing everything that I absolutely love. So I shall link all the products down below so you can snap them all up. And I hope you have lots of fun painting your face, just enjoying makeup for the wonderful, magical, artistic creativeness that it is. For today's outfit, I was feeling very monochrome, so I took this Topshop Sherlin, a Forever 21 little sweater, which I think is inspired by Comme des Garçons with a little heart, a faux leather dress from Zara, a River Island choker, and then my beautiful Valentino inspired flats from ASOS. See you next time. I never hear helicopters any other time apart from when I pull out a camera to film. Why?